Hey guys, it's Kelly from fitnessblender.com and today I have a button thigh workout for you that combines both strength training and Pilates so you really get a really good burn on those muscles. I've included a short cardio warm up as well as your cool down and all you're going to need for this routine is a set of dumbbells. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, for our warm up, we're doing 25 seconds of each exercise group without any rest in between. We're starting off with arm swings and butt kickers. So you're gonna have your arms crossed in front of you while you're taking your foot up to kick yourself in the butt. So we're stretching out the front of the thighs as well as the upper body a little bit here. Just getting the blood flowing. Start off nice and slow so we don't pull any muscles and so we can work harder during our actual workout. So make sure that a different arm is going over the other each time. All right, next up we're gonna be doing front kicks. So we're gonna take our toes out and touch right in front of the body. So kick up as high as you can. It's okay if you can't kick very high, especially while you're warming up. Don't force anything. Just getting those muscles warmed up. And get your upper body in there better if you want to. Take your arms overhead. And this way you're working your core quite a lot too. Three, two, Next up we're doing hip openers, so take your leg up and step back, then back up around. So just a nice kind of rounded movement, you're getting those hip flexors woken up. Stand up nice and tall. Again, you're using your core for balance here, which is a really good thing. Next up we're doing side lunge toe touches plus an overhead stretch. Five seconds left. All right, so keep this leg straight, touch your toes, come up in the center, and stretch just for a second. All right, in 10 seconds, I'm gonna switch to a switch foot warrior. Two, one. All right, so you're stepping down and come up. Stretch back, stretch through your core. Now come down, stretch briefly, switch feet, stretch again, just to kind of lean into each position. All right, next up we're gonna be doing a body weight deadlift. So we're really just mimicking the motions that we're going to be doing during the actual routine. So just Lean down, keep a flat back. It's good to practice form even when you don't have any weight. Pull up through those glutes and squeeze. All right, next up we're doing a squat with a toe, a uh, calf raise, sorry. So drop down between those two feet, squeeze back up and go up on your toes. So keep your back flat, you're leaning back into your heels. Inhale on the way down, exhale as you push back up. I get extra winded when I'm a little nervous. So <laughs> next up we're doing a forward lunge. So you're gonna drop down between those two feet, keep your back straight again, and then push it back. Keep your core pulled in, eyes forward, so you're not rounding your shoulders. Go only as deep as you can control. You don't want to be flailing. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing in reverse. So a reverse lunge, so right here, stepping back. Next up, we're gonna pick up the cardio a little bit. We'll be doing lateral jumps. Two, one. All right, so you're going side to side, leaping as far as you can. Uh, if you want to keep this low impact, just stay here. You can make it harder by going lower. Otherwise, if you're going for the, you don't need low impact, try to leap and then not touch your foot to the ground each time. So you're using more balance. Three seconds, and we're going into jumping jacks. All right, here we go. So our last warm up interval. If you want low impact, stay right here. You're just stepping out side to side. So just cut out the jumps. 
Got about 10 seconds left. Try to land soft on your feet. That's part of the workout. Three, two, one. All right, so keep your feet moving. Make sure you have a bottle of water nearby. We'll get started with that strength workout. All right, our first strength exercise is going to be a side squat plus a curtsy. So this is gonna burn really well on those legs. We're gonna grab just one weight for this. We're gonna be holding it in the center of our chest. I'm gonna use 12 for this first round. So grab whatever you, weight you need to. We'll do it right about here. And we're gonna sink down into a squat, step to the side, put your foot here, and then step back into a curtsy. So we are doing six repetitions on each side. So if you can, stay low that entire time. There's two. So if you want to, you can make it harder by not stopping in the center there. So step right directly over, then sink into that curtsy. So that takes a lot more balance. Now, if you wanna make it easier, you can do your curtsy. Come up, squat to the side, come up, sink down into your curtsy. So do whatever, uh, whatever you can. Do it the hardest version you can for as long as you can. And then instead of stopping, go to that easier version. All right, there's 12. So next up, we're gonna drop down to the mat for that Pilates round. So we're gonna be doing side leg lifts. So pick a side, remember which one you're using, and then we'll do the opposite side on the next round. So you're gonna lay on your side, get that leg straighten out there, point your toes, and you're lifting up as high as you can, then back down. Inhale as you lift that leg up, exhale as you let it back down. So no swinging, I want you to be using no momentum at all, you're in control the entire time. There's five. I have four more. All right, this is our last one, and then we're gonna stop right in the center there and do 12 pulses. So smaller version, just keeping it in the part where it burns the most. That's halfway. Two more, one, two. All right, that leg should be a little shaky after that. So again, remember which side you're on. You're gonna be doing the opposite side next time. So go ahead and grab that weight again. We're doing the side lunges plus the uh, curtsy lunge combination. So remember, keep your weight right here, standing up nice and tall, sink to that squat, you're stepping to the side, and then back into that curtsy. So keep your back flat. Make sure you're in control of this. Only go as low as you can control. There's halfway. Remember, you can come here, go down, back up, and into that curtsy. Honestly, you can do this workout without any weight at all, and it's still an awesome workout, so don't feel like you can't get in a good routine if you don't have weights. One more on each side. All right, so we're going back to that side leg lift on the opposite side this time. So this is a pretty fast paced routine. So I love strength workouts like this because you're getting in the cardio, kind of a cardio workout, even though you're working on strength training. So I'm already sweating, I'm huffing and puffing. It feels awesome <laughs> while you're building muscle. So get down on your side, get that leg out there, point your toe, going up. You should feel this, especially in that outside thigh. There's halfway. All right, three more. We're gonna do those pulses again. All right, this is the last one. So you're stopping in that center point and then doing slow controlled pulses. 
There's halfway. And that's it. All right. So next up, we're going to be doing a traditional squat. So I'm going to be using 12 pounds per hand for this one. I tell you what I'm, got, what I'm lifting, but it's in no way a suggestion of what you should lift. Um, listen to your body. The last few reps of whatever you're doing should be difficult. So choose a weight that challenges you. That could be even no weight at all. So whatever it is that you need to push yourself. All right, so hop those weights up there. Feet shoulder width apart. All right, standing up nice and tall. You're gonna hinge at the hips first. So don't bend your knees, stick your butt out, and then let your knees bend. There's one, inhale on the way down, exhale as you push back up. Keep your weight predominantly in your heels. Keep your eyes looking at the wall in front of you. All right, that's halfway already. If at any point your form starts to suffer, drop your weights. You can lessen your weights or drop them completely. All right, two more. Last one. All right, so drop those weights. We're going back to that Pilates combo. We're going to be doing a single leg bridge. So grab your mat, lay out flat on your back. And you're going to have your heels, your feet flat on the ground. And then we're sticking one leg in the air and pressing up through a bridge. So the weight's going to be in our shoulders here and our feet. So here we go. There's one repetition. So modifications on this, you can bend your leg or you can even put that other foot down completely and use two feet on the mat. So whichever one you feel most comfortable with, try to challenge yourself, but watch your form. You can also add weights to this if you want to really bump up the challenge. Three more. Here's our last one. All right, so again, remember which foot you just had in the air. And hit that other side on the next round. So I think I'm gonna lower my weights a little bit for my squat. Oh no, actually I lied. I used 16 last time, that's why. I'm using 12 this time. <laughs> All right, so get those weights up at your shoulders, feet shoulder width apart, nice and tall, and stick your butt out behind you. Sink down for that squat. There's four. Halfway. Three more. So if your knees start to buckle or waver in and out, you know you need to drop your weights too. All right, that's the last one. All right. So we're gonna do a single leg bridge on that other side. So. Opposite leg up in the air this time. All right. Take a deep breath. Kick that foot up there. And press up through this heel that's on the ground. Inhale all the way down. Exhale as you push back up. Remember you can bend at the knee, makes it quite a lot easier. And you can even drop down completely. Just make sure you're squeezing. Don't let your butt rest on the ground. Just hover there before you squeeze back up. <clears throat> All right, two more. All right, there we go. So we are, we have earned ourselves a water break. So I'm a sweaty mess already which is a good thing. If you want to, drink a little bit of water, not too much. Save the heavy, heavy guzzling for when you're finished with your workout so you don't give yourself a stomach ache. Otherwise, don't stop moving and we'll get right back into the second half of this routine. All 
All right, our next exercise is going to be the reverse pistol lunge. So you're gonna grab one weight. I'm gonna be using eight pounds for this. Again, remember, that's gonna be specific to your own strength. So pick a weight that challenges you. Otherwise, you're standing up nice and tall, and you're going to take this leg and step back behind you and also to the side. Keep this front leg straight, and then just lean back into this back one. So you're really putting all that weight in that leg that's behind you. So it's kind of like a supported pistol squat. There's four. Remember, we're doing 12 total. Keep your back flat still. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Keep that weight right about chest level. There's 10, just one more on each side. All right, now we're dropping to the floor for an inside thigh lift. So you work those inner thighs specifically. Grab your mat. All right, so we're laying out flat on your side, similar to that outside leg lift. You're gonna put that foot on the ground and you're lifting just this inside leg. It's just a lot smaller range of motion, but still you're gonna to wanna to control it. So as long as you're not swinging, you're good. So take a deep breath, lift up, and then back down. So you're not resting on the ground, you're just hovering there. So your leg is working the entire time. There's six. So you should be feeling this through your entire leg, but particularly in that inside thigh muscle. We got three more. And then we're gonna go ahead and do pulses on the inside thigh as well. So this is our last one. You're gonna pause there. Now pulse 12 times. Just halfway already. And that's it. All right, so we're going back to that reverse pistol. So grab whatever weight you need. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, weight at your chest. You're gonna step back and lean into that back leg and push back up. Repeat on the opposite side. Pull in your stomach, keep everything nice and tight. So you're using this leg is only a kind of a support. And if you need to, you can always put more weight into that, adjust as you need to so you can get that reverse lunge done. All right, one more. All right, so we're going back, do that inside thigh lift, and we're gonna do it on the other side this time. So, Whatever side you didn't do last time, we'll flip over, put that foot down, point your toe, and go ahead and get started. Here's number six, right there, that's halfway. All right, just two more. And we're gonna freeze halfway down here. Now 12 quick pulses. And let it relax, that burns. Okay, next up we're gonna be doing a deadlift. So I'm gonna be using 24 pounds per hand for this one. Um, Usually you can lift quite a lot heavier for this. So pick whatever weight you need. Otherwise, we're gonna hold our weights in front of our thighs for this. Feet shoulder width apart. Sit up nice and tall. And you're gonna keep your back in alignment as you go down, keeping that weight close to your thighs. Go down as low as you can control, then squeeze back up. So you should feel this in your glutes, your lower back, and the back of your thighs. Squeeze at the top. Keep your core nice and tight. Keep your shoulders back, don't let them round. The weights are gonna wanna pull them forward. There's four. This is our halfway point right here.
four more. The last one. All right, drop your weights. You're gonna be doing a Pilates rear leg lift. So you're really targeting that glute and thigh area again, especially the backs of the thighs. So you're gonna have your weight in your knees and your forearms. And then straighten that leg out behind you. And we'll be lifting up as far as you can control. Actually, let's do it with a bent leg. Feels even better. So tuck in and then push back up. So try not to open up your hips. You're not rotating out. You're just pushing up as far as you can while still keeping your hips facing the ground. All right, this is halfway. So again, no swinging. Do it nice and slow. Be in control of your body the entire time. It makes it a lot harder. Works those muscles more thoroughly through the entire range of motion. You have three more. Okay, the last one. All right, back to those deadlifts. Remember which leg you're going to be using the next time. Bring that opposite side on. All right, so I'm going to go a little lower this time for 20 pounds per hand. All right, 12 repetitions. Here we go, take a nice deep breath, get yourself ready. All right, here we go. Nice and slow and squeeze back up. Keep your weights close to your thighs. So if you're not feeling it, check your form. Always check your form, and then if you're positive that you have your form right, go ahead and increase the amount of weight that you're lifting. Like I said, you wanna feel really, uh, like your muscles are toast by those last two or three repetitions without having your form suffer. There's seven. Four more. Just two more. It's our last one. All right, back to that other side for that Pilates leg lift. So grab your mat. I'm gonna be doing it on my left side this time. So get in your position. All right, get that foot ready. Here we go. So kicking up, lifting up, tucking back in. So you're gonna feel this, you're definitely gonna feel it in the leg that you're lifting, but you're also gonna feel it in the one that's doing the supporting as well. So don't be surprised if those muscles start to talk to you as well. Five more. Two more. All right, here's our last one. And let it relax. All right, next up we're gonna be doing a step through lunge. So, be doing both a forward and a reverse lunge. This is going to be calling on balance quite a lot. So I'm going to do just eight pounds per hand for this. So just like a regular lunge, but you're going to try to call on your balance to not rest in the middle. So you're going to step back into your reverse lunge, and then you're going to come forward for a front lunge. So there's one, and then you're going to repeat on the opposite side, back, and then forward. Now this next time we're gonna try mixing it up. So we're going forward 
and then back. If you need to, you can always come to the center there and regather your balance. Last one here. All right, so that's it for those. Now we're gonna drop down and do a back bow. So these are kind of fun. A lot of these exercises, it really targets, again, the butt and the thighs, especially the back of the thighs, but also your upper body and your core, especially your lower back. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. We're doing 12 repetitions, so pick your level of difficulty. This is the hardest. Take a deep breath. Now we're pulling up, lifting your legs and your arms off the ground at the same time. Here's one repetition. So if you want to make it easier, pull in your arms. Now you want to um, give yourself as little rest as possible. So if you need to, you can go up and then actually rest on the ground for a second before you come up with that next repetition. Otherwise, try to just hover here. Don't completely let those muscles relax and then go right back up. All right, two more. Last one. All right, back to those lunges. This is our last two sets of exercises here. Try to push yourself. All right, so I'm using just four pounds per hand this time. My form was feeling a little shaky last time. So we're going for those long lunges, step through lunges. So we're gonna start reverse, we go back, then forward, and back, and forward on this side. Next time, we're going forward and back. That's halfway. Whew. My muscles are talking to me, being tired. The cool down's gonna feel really good. All right, last one. All right. Sorry, one more. I'm being informed there's one more <laughs> on the other side. There we go. All right. Can't miss the last rep. Okay, so we're going down for that back bow. Grab your mat. And stretch out. Again, pick your difficulty level, whichever one's going to challenge you. Take a nice deep breath. And go ahead and get started. six, halfway. Last one. All right, and let it relax. All right, so we have earned ourselves a cool down and stretch. Definitely. So I'm going to get up. It's gonna take a second to catch your breath, move around a little bit, shake it off, shake the muscles out. Oh, a couple nice deep breaths. Go ahead and kick yourself in the butt. Gonna work those muscles nice and light after we've worked them heavily. All right, let's stop. We'll stretch up overhead with a deep breath. 
stretch here for just a second, side to side, and then we're going to go down for a floor sweep. So nice and slow, take your arms down, and come here so you feel a good stretch through the back of your thighs. Walk over to one foot, stay here for just a second, and then slowly, staying down through that entire range of motion, walk to the other side, back to the center, then come back up. So arms overhead again, take a deep breath, rock from side to side, stretch out those obliques. All right, now come back down towards the floor. So stretching out those fingers the entire way down, get a good forearm stretch as well, then rock forward, come down to the center. Now walk over to that opposite foot this time and start on the other side, stay here for a second. Kind of move around within the stretch to find any spots where you're super tight or you might find tension in your muscles. And slowly walk through the center and hang around that other foot. All right, next up we're gonna stretch the front of our thighs, so our quads. So if you got the balance left after this, you can balance there. Otherwise, just catch that toe and pull up, pull your foot up into your butt, up onto your butt until you feel a stretch through the front of your quads here. All right, go ahead and switch sides. You can kind of puff out your chest, arch your chest a little bit so you could get a good chest stretch while you do this stretch for your legs. All right, now we're gonna walk into downward dog. So come down to your toes and slowly walk out there. And try to keep your heels on the ground so you get a good calf stretch as well. Try to push your head down between your shoulders. Just do the best you can. Kind of rock back and forth. You can even do a little bit of march here so you can alternate which leg you're focusing the stretch on. All right, now we're gonna step one foot forward here and press out. So again, you're stretching, really intensely stretching the back of this thigh this time. Pull your heel up off the ground. You can include your calf in there as well. Now rock forward. So you're gonna be stretching this hip flexor. Now come back up. Step back out to that downward dog again for just a second, and then we're gonna do the same sequence on the other leg. So step that opposite leg forward and then kick back so you can get a good stretch through this back of the thigh again. Kick up your heel, bring up the focus on that calf. Now we're gonna rock forward and just stretch the opposite hip flexor. So once you're done here, you're gonna to wanna to drink lots of water, eat a good healthy meal as soon as you can, or at least a hefty snack. If you can't meet, eat a good meal right away, at least eat at least a few hundred calories worth of a snack. All right, now step both of your feet back. And come down for a cobra stretch. So you want to feel this through the front of your core. You're not forcing the range of motion. You should never feel any pain during these stretches. So just do what you can to get in a good stretch. All right, come back into a child's pose. Kind of press down away from your arms and lean away from yourself so you get a good stretch through your back. Stand up, 
I'm gonna stretch our inside thighs really quickly. So keeping this leg straight, I'm gonna lean away from yourself just enough that you start to feel a stretch through there. Now switch to the other side. All right, so we are all done. So make sure, like I said, to drink a whole bunch of water, eat some good food, real food, as soon as you can. And otherwise, good job guys, this workout is complete.